So a lot of bacterial toxins will elevate body temperature. That's very, very common for that to happen. And that will instigate this process. But actually, often for us, fever is beneficial. And this is one of the problems in that many people just try and suppress fevers, when in fact a fever is the body's own immune response in most situations. When a fever starts going above you know, 39, 39.5 degrees Celsius in particular, over that 39.5 degrees Celsius and over 40, the fever can become harmful to proteins in your body. We start to denature proteins, we start to change the shape of proteins. But further back beyond that point, we start to see fever being beneficial because a lot of microbes don't like those sorts of temperatures, so it stops them from growing. It also speeds up the reactions that aid repair and it makes interferons more effective in the body, so it enhances the immune response. So what we should really be doing with most cases of fever is not suppressing it, but instead supporting it.